If you would like to get your song reviewed, dear listener, there's the filthy capitalist option. It already says. 125 gets you straight to the head of the line. You don't have to be a part of the alliance. You don't have to be a part of the group. Wait a minute. And the biggest thing is you don't have to wait. You hop, skip, and jump right in front of everybody. 125 gets you there. You do that three times and then get mashed down to the $75 rate for perpetuity. Yes! Also, there is a band review option. <laughs> so if you've got a band and you're trying to get your band some exposure, hit me up at sorry at gmail.com and I'll show you the details about how to pull you that off. You can also jump on Patreon and there is a option on the tiers to be able to get your band reviewed. Yep. Obviously, we can't lie to you. So we can't guarantee, can't guarantee a positive a review. Positive. Get what you get. It's just rubbish. 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 That's British for garbage. Ah! My favorite is a community option. One dollar at the gate gets you in a Patreon. You get to join an alliance. The alliance joins their points together, and that helps determine what songs that we do. The alliances hang out on Discord. Message me on Patreon to get the link. And they do all kinds of other cool things. They do Minecraft. What? Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, yeah. It's really a community within the community. Anybody can go on the village, facebook.com backslash Vin and Sorry. There's 160 plus thousand people on the channel. What's cool about the Discord is that it offers a real opportunity for community connection, friendship, that type of thing. But, and uh, it's on Discord, so if you're not a Facebook person, it's for you. You start off at a dollar. Right. Plus you get exclusives. Sorry and I are working on a song. So the first 15 seconds of that was on Patreon. Also, at $15 here and above, when we actually debut the video, they're going to be there live with us. There you are, dear listener. Fire merch. <laughs> Buy our merch indeed. Buy our merch indeed. <laughs> Charles, I'll leave them. Charles, I'll leave them. To buy our merch. <clears throat> Yes, they're listening. Yes, they're listening. It's yes, they're listening. Birthday stream. Check it out. Birthday Bye stream. And misery biz. Um, we go live randomly, so, uh, you never know when it's going to be. Usually in the evenings, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, somewhere in there. So some people are like, why do I keep missing these? Yes. It's because they're kind of semi-unplanned. Planned. Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> the last song on our stream tonight is... Hello? Kai Spick. Hello, Helsinki, which I'm assuming the means hello, Helsinki. Katin, ja. Vapos kat, kat. Ka-a-ti-in, ya. There we go. Oh, ah, English. See, I told you. It means hello. Hello, Helsinki is a pop rock band from Finland found in two th founded in 2006. They have released five studio albums, all of which have reached the top 10 of the Finnish albums chart. Again, not a regular visitor on my playlist, but it is a nice change from all the heavy stuff every now and then. We agree. I'm glad. So this one's from Kai as well? This is from the big homie Kai. All right, guys, here we go. Hello, Helsinki. Let's do it. Se kaiken menettää, silloin vapaus on ainut mitä käteen jää. On ylämäki raskas askelta, mutta alamäki liian usein katoa. Jos ei tapa niin se todellakin ei muista en päälle kulta kerrasta saa. Ymyletä itket kuinka vaan, ole hetki niin kuin huomista ei olisikaan. On paljon tasoja vielä meidän edessä Vanhat kivet ja puut Energia kenttien välissä Tää kaikki ei oo meidän käsissä Tuohon kynsissä on Aikamme sielut on Mutta lupan että huominen On joskus monen vuoden Ainut miten käteen jää On ylämäki raskas askelta Mutta alamäki 
ya no se engató Que se tapan les de toda la que hay anda He muestro en palco de que arrastrasá He vele taid que te coingaba No le he de que no lo ha visto He vele si ca Okay, I think we got it. Uh, okay, so apparently there's a poll. And, uh, uh, and they what said I've seen is wrong. Uh, well, look right here. Middle was the main guy that was saying he wanted to see us big and That's what I small. thought, too. I was like... <laughs> now he's agreeing with... I'm glad you said something. Because like, I was thinking to myself, I actually kind of felt I'm like gonna, I was going I, to I'm back from Middle. sure it was Middle. <laughs> I thought so, too. He was the one that did this to us. I'll turn around. <laughs> Turn around, okay. There you go, middle. Thank this is give this back thank to you. you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Moving. In. My I, well, I felt like I said. I said, uh, Vince, this is an opportunity for you. <laughs> yes, and <laughs> it, it was well received. <laughs> yeah. I thought that's gonna work out for you. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I even sound like a bit. Okay. Anyway, we'll talk about it after. All right. Let me pull this back up. <laughs> Believe me, why not? All right. Uh, let me pull it. Can you pull up the lyrics? Please? I, lean, I lean on middle for a lot of shit. Honestly, though. Honestly. Middle's great. Middle's great. Big. Oh, there we go. What What are you doing? Oh, it's just are you trying, trying to get I'm the trying lyrics? To pull, like, okay. The lyrics I, like, remember I said I like put all the screenshots here. So like it automatically does it. It'll always be the one That's at the bottom. That's right. That's right. That's right. All right. Look. There we go. Look. There we go. Look. Yeah, I agree. Somebody said she really looked like she meant what she was singing. So I'm I'm curious. Skylar, I never thought I'd see the day where I catch another stream from you guys. <laughs> well, here we are. Skylar, last week we did like six out of seven days. Bro. We actually, you know, we're getting a lot of likes. There's going to be a few more streams this week. You'll see. Things will work out for y'all benefit. Yeah, so put more likes in, in or your dislikes, favor. whatever you want. In y'all favor. In y'all favor. Okay. <clears throat> so she says, after working. There will be a number where like if we hit 100, you just turn me off, by the way. Like I can't hear myself. If we hit a hundred, like wait, if nobody else can it'll, hear you. It'll like guarantee a stream the next day. Like even even if there's like no songs on the docket. <clears throat> oh yeah, we could always. Do uh, it was an anthem with the crowd taking over the song. That was one of the things I really love. I love our I love audience participation. I agree. Uh, the I first agree. the first time I saw Corn at Woodstock was the it was like 20 seconds of got the life and that yep. immediately like changed my life completely converted me to metal but the second i mean obviously i started getting obsessed and started looking 
for for corn at Woodstock, and of course they opened with Blind. Mm-hmm. Jonathan goes, you don't know the chances. Fucking 70,000, 100,000 people. All together. What if I should die? Wow. Again, just like, And never... all those people have that for their own special moment with that song. And they're all bringing those moments all together like that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Like, just incredible. Incredible. Like, geez, dude. Like... <laughs> That many people, I've seen it happen in uh, in rap a few times. Oh yeah, like when I mm, I seen it happen one time. Jay Z was doing his big Madison Square. It was gonna be him from Mossy to well. So what he did was he had a section where he was honoring Big and Pop. The darkest song probably in rap history, like the most metal song in rap history is this song called Hail Mary. It's a it's a really come with me. Hail Mary give me one quick thing. Yeah. What do we have? You know, like I ain't a killer, but don't push me. Revenge is like the sweetest joy next to getting pussy. Like it was just a real like you know, like it's yeah. the, the beat was crazy. It was a really spooky song. So anyway, Jay Z is doing his thing, and then all of a sudden, and it starts off with like a bell, like you know, like for whom the bell tolls. It starts oh, off like that, and it's uh, you know, Tupac, and he's almost like speaking in tongues at the beginning. So it's, it's just really weird song. It's the first yeah, song. Later. It's the first song Tupac released after he died. After I am mad at you. So he he released a song called I am mad at you in '96, but in '97 there was a song called Hail Mary. It was just a crazy song, like. One of the like darkest songs, not only in hip hop but in history, in my opinion. But anyway, Jay Z, the beat comes on, that bell comes on, and the beat comes on, and the entire crowd, I ain't a killer, but don't push me. Like a oh, hundred thousand wow. people, like holy shit. Well, Madison Square can only hold like fifty thousand people, but like the whole crowd, I ain't a killer, but don't push me. Revenge is like the sweetest joy. Next again, baby. Picture paragraphs unloaded. Wise words being quoted. Pick the weakness in this rap game and sold it. Bow down, pray to God, hoping that, like, the whole, like, everybody, that was the only time I've ever seen that in hip hop. But in metal, man, like, when that crowd, like, gets all the lyrics, wow. like, it's so freaking powerful. So powerful. Oh, the energy in that room must have been something else. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> what? Helena found a way to get us a hundred and like sixty nine. Because I said, because remember I said, uh, uh, remember I said, like if if we get a hundred uh, <laughs> likes and we're gonna do a stream, yeah. regardless of yeah. whether we have, yeah, whatever, we didn't mean whatever. bullshit ones. We don't we don't take cheater points. Well, I mean, I, I don't know how we got to one hundred sixty nine uh, likes. How did you don't you... remember what the si- no, the I system? don't. Is there a system? We know she. We know she has the qualifications. <laughs> it was forty-seven a few minutes ago. <laughs> no, that's because it, it, that's because we're an important group of people. Yes, that's what happened. Like, sure. I just think <laughs> you know, hell likes uh, hell knows like everybody on the planet. I know a lot of people on the planet too, but but we're just not as popular. Yeah, I'm not popular with them. We can't. We've been we've been really begging not. people for likes for two weeks and we've got <laughs> that many. <laughs> All right. So All right. After working day you? working day, a hungover man wakes up and calls this woman. Drives home while searching herself. Oh, hold on. After working a day, a hungover man wakes up and calls. <clears throat> the woman drives home while searching herself. The man used to live one day at a time. Now one minute can lose everything. Soon everything will be broken again. That's okay. When losing everything in life, the freedom is all you've got. Uphill is not easy to walk, but on downhill, you easily get lost. If it doesn't kill you, it will hurt for real. Those memories you cannot gild. Is that one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's memories you cannot gild. That's interesting. Smile or cry, whatever. Spend a moment without tomorrow. There's a lot of levels ahead of us. Old rocks and trees. Between energy fields, we cannot control this all. 
in the hands of ruin is this soulless time of ours, but I promise that tomorrow hmm. will be many years ago. Hmm. Man, th this this person is uh the writing style. Yeah, the writing style is really unique, cl clever, and it's a pop song, but lyrically she's deep as hell. Yeah. Well, maybe you can fill me in on a little bit. Okay, so we're we're getting a story, right? This is one of those songs where you're getting a story. After working a day, a hungover man wakes up and calls. So he's calling somebody. Who's he calling? I'm assuming he's calling Shorty, right? The woman drives home while searching yeah. herself. So she's looking for something. He's looking for something. The man used to live one day at a time. Okay, one day at a time is the phrase in Alcoholics Anonymous. Right? One day oh. at a time, one day at a time, I one day at a time. I thought the song, One Day at a Time, Sweet Jesus. Like, it's basically just, not. don't try to worry about tomorrow, tomorrow will worry for itself. The man, yeah. He used to be like that. <clears throat> now one minute can lose everything. Okay. Well, All well, right, yeah, well, go ahead, go ahead. He's hung over. Mm -hmm. That means he fell off the wagon. Mm. Okay. See right. what I'm saying? Yep. Yep. So he's hung over, and soon everything will be broken again, because... It used to be one day at a time, but now because he's fallen back into the habit, it's one minute at a time, and everything is going to be broken now again. Now one minute can lose everything, right? Soon, saying. And he so, believes he's going to go back to it. That's why he's saying soon everything will be broken again. When losing everything in life, freedom is all you've got. Uphill is not easy to walk, but on downhill you can easily get lost. Mm -hmm. So that to me is like when you're in a situation in your life when everything gets difficult. It sucks, but you're more likely to to watch and be aware mm -hmm. than you are when everything is going smooth. Mm -hmm. So when it's downhill, you know, then you can easily get lost. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Be, yeah, I agree. So I it's agree. it's a that's a proverb. That's like a that's a word of wisdom. That's a word of wisdom for people. Like <clears throat> if you're going through a difficult time. Like, it sucks because it's difficult. Otherwise, we wouldn't call it difficult. But, you know, you know, God has made us pretty adaptive. And human beings, a lot of the times, and you've seen this in your own life, when you've risen to the occasion, like you've met the moment. Mm -hmm. And then there's other times when everything was cool and you went into autopilot and then you looked around and said, what the fuck happened? Yeah, yep, yep. So, you know. Have a little bit of a, uh, a self-belief or, or trust in the manufacturer, you know, when you're going through a hard time. Like, most of us, especially if you're on the western side of the of the hemisphere, like, most of us are, are concerned about making our lives as comfortable as possible. I mean, Americans are so, I mean, western people are so comfortable that we have things like gyms. I know. <laughs> I think about that sometimes. I'm like, we had to create a machine to make us run on it. Because we don't, we're not active enough. Nobody's trying to kill you. What? So, like, it, it's have a little trust in yourself and the manufacturer. You were built for adaptation. You're gonna figure it out. What a mm -hmm. money situation? You're gonna figure it out. Mm -hmm. But like, I like that, and it's like <clears throat> when you figure it out, you're gonna have periods of smoothness. And yep. in that period of smoothness, the challenge there, the difficulty there is to make sure that you can handle success and that you can make sure that you can handle the wind in your face and all that without uh, losing where you are. Yep. So you have to be, you have to be balanced when you're looking at the world. And it looks like that is, is kind of the idea. I was just gonna, to banter back with Helen, let you know that it also, the Bible says that Christians are supposed to be, you know, wise as serpents and gentle as doves. So we are wise as the serpent in recognizing those likes were faulty. <laughs> well, she's, they're still there though. She says she can take them away. I, I, I don't know. I look legit <laughs> the Lord to me. Gives, the Lord takes away. <laughs> <laughs> uh... There's a lot of levels ahead of us, old rocks and trees between energy fields. We can't control this all. In the hands of ruin is this soulless time of ours. But I promise that tomorrow will be many years ago. Oh, that's crazy. It's a good line. That that's is so friggin' crazy, dude. Why? What, what does it mean to you? 
tomorrow will be many years ago. Like it does. It, there's so many things. Like when you look to the past, like all of a sudden you have this memory and you're like, no, it feels like it was just yesterday. Mm-hmm. So when they're, when they're saying <clears throat> a promise that tomorrow will, will be many years ago, like it's tomorrow and it feels like, but, but it, I don't know. I can't, I can't really describe it. <clears throat> a poor description. A poor description. Yeah, so it's 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 interesting. Like, I wonder why they call the song. Well, they named the band Hello Helsinki, but I wonder why they named this song that. Like, I wonder what the what. Man, I wish they were here. I wonder if uh, Misery Biz or Kai could answer this question in the comment section. Like, is it hard over there? You know what I'm saying? Is there an alcoholism problem over there? Um, mm-hmm. You know, I, I think they're pretty sure it's an Eastern European country, is it? Because it's a close to Eastern Europe. Like, is it difficult and people have to, you know, do these things for survival? Because it's it's a really interesting song where you've got this guy, he's dealing with his alcoholism that he's trying to overcome. Yeah. And... Yeah, so I'm just wondering, like, is is that something that's just like so common mm-hmm. in in the country? And then you have to, I yeah. mean, because I mean, shit, man, it's definitely almost pandemic levels in the U.S. for sure. And I just don't know anybody right now I heard that's, it went a, up that's like Warren during COVID. Yeah, oh, one hundred percent. You know, like, yeah, man, the, man there the must COVID, have been so many COVID. people that had sobered up. Wow, I didn't even think of that. The next time, because you know, you see on your feed, people will be like, "This amount of time sober." Like, you made it through COVID, and you're still in that situation. Like, I, that's extra props to them. Like, to go through that yeah, I agree. entire there, there, there yeah, were I didn't a lot even of, of there were a lot of uh, uh, new alcoholics that became yeah alcoholics. Like, there's so many reasons you could give yourself due for, to COVID for starting to drink up again in that situation. I'm talking about new ones though, but oh yeah, yeah no, I agree. Yeah, it yeah. Was, it, yeah. So it's interesting, like, this is this pop band, but she's talking about this very real world issue. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, she calls that song Hello Helsinki. So it's like, Mm -hmm. it's a song about, like, perseverance, not giving up um, perspective. Perspective is in in the sense of, like, hey, you can, kind of like a stoicism, like, you're feeling this because you're interpreting this this way. Yeah. And so... Yeah. I've got a guy on YouTube that's like a very passionate Stoic, which is an unlearned person in Stoicism. Say so that's like against Stoicism, but it really isn't. I just found out after whatever. But I'm very interested in because I see you see some of the Stoic philosophy in Paul's literature. Like mm-hmm. clear that he was I mean, it literally says in Acts that he was um engaging with Stoic philosophers. So mm-hmm. That's a very intriguing thing. Like, you know, you'll listen to these, like, like high-level Christian guys, and they'll be like, oh, yeah, yeah, Paul was dealing with Stoicism. In the book. But they're not they're not even talking about that. They're just saying that, like, incidentally. And mm-hmm. and I'm like, yeah. wait, what? Wait, yeah. <laughs> they didn't teach me that in Sunday school. Like, let me tell them. You, you I know what's funny? This... I heard Stoicism from the Bible, and that's the only place that I ever heard it. And I was surprised to find out that there was actually, like, yeah, I just thought it was like in that circle. I didn't realize that it was something outside of that. So you had the opposite experience that I did. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, hell, uh, you know, I don't know. It, it looks to me. Let yeah, me... but you never promised songs. You promised that there would be a stream. We have streams. Well, I didn't even promise. I said we should. I was kind of like thinking out loud, and then I got, I got, I got, I got. Uh... I agreed because of our short list. That's why I agreed. Okay, so hold on. I just want to see how many likes we have under this thing, though, because it's live, but it's not telling me how many likes we have. It's oh, right there. Ah, it right says 166. There. I don't know. We'll put another one in there. I like it. <laughs> Bitch. Yeah, so I really, really like this song because it was a very, it's a deep song. It, it was just, I didn't expect that from a pop band. Mm-hmm. And then the other thing too is like when they transitioned, when they went really major chord and really high and triumphant, mm-hmm. like that was also a big shock. Mm-hmm. And then what she did with her vocals, that was also a big shock. Like, yeah. And I'm sure like mm-hmm. this is probably like standard stand- song for them. If you know this band, like, yeah, this is what they do. 
But like, I'm not familiar we, yeah, with that. I'm not familiar with her yeah. writing style. So I was yeah. like, oh, this is really impressive. Like, this is badass. Yeah. And the other thing too, it kind of was like you wanted to just keep playing the rest of the, the their show. Yeah, I agree. I agree a million. I don't know how any Christian could dislike stoicism. We need more of it. Pastors, more pastors should be stoics. I agree. I agree. I Wait, agree. what do you mean you agree? More pastors should be stoics. For sure. Why? You'd want your leadership. As I said, like I'm at the foot, foot, foot hills of this, but you definitely want your leadership at least to be informed. And I would say, I would argue influenced by stoicism because obviously Paul was. Right? So if Paul was, well, then, I mean, we'll... Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, wanna, like, let's talk, yeah, yeah, you're right, right. You know let's talk about that later, for sure. Uh, okay. Um, what do you give the song? <laughs> She's so funny. She's... <laughs> no, what do you mean? Even if you begged. Okay, oh, I know, what her, I know what her song choice is. So. <laughs> um, I would give this one... I give this one an 8.9. Okay, here we go. So Misery Biz is here, actually. The name of the song is um, Freedom is Left in Your Hand. It's kind of like, you know, you still have a choice. But Misery Biz, why do you think they named the song Hello Helsinki? Is this, are these problems, the problems that you, that are, you know, common in Helsinki and Finland? You know, the alcohol and, and all that? Like, what? Why did they call it Hello Helsinki? Or is it just because the band is named Hello Helsinki and they just wanted to name a song Hello Helsinki? I just wanted to know like what the social context was um, of that song. Because and you're it, asking Misery Biz? Who are you asking? Yeah, Misery Biz. <clears throat> yeah, for sure. Because was this Misery Biz's pick or Kai's? Well, they're both they're both Finnish. So they both be able so to. So I'm asking more of a Finnish context question. Oh, like, not so much of a band question. What y'all on, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So hope, hopefully, hopefully he can answer that. Um, but what what did you get? The what did you get the song? I gave it an eight point nine. What did you give it? Oh, this one was a nine dot five for me. The the audience participation, like like. Uh, oh shit! I forgot about the audience. What's up, Viking? Viking Mills Gaming uh, in the house. Nine point one. Nine point one. Oh, it was because you you remember the uh, yeah you yeah I, yeah that. that wasn't yeah I didn't factor that in because I think that a band that can get that and I forgot about the the homie in red that like was did his little movements at the end like I don't know like they I felt like that the the band is into what they're doing and so that definitely factors into the score like you know nine point three nine point three go ahead no I said I said nine dot six. Nine at six. Nine at six. There you have it, you guys. We have more streams coming up this week. Uh, yes, we do. We do. Happy freaking birthday, Misery Biz, by the way. Glad you're alive, my brother. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Glad you're mm -hmm. alive. Go ahead. What were you saying? Ha! -ha! We're up to 170 likes. <laughs> yes. Um, but no, like to dislike ratio because two of those are down thumbs. <clears throat> Do not believe them a thing. <laughs> I think she's saying don't believe anything from them. Yeah, I think so. Thank you so much for the stream and thank you. In 10 uh, seconds, she's going to say 9.5. All right, let's see. 10. No, it's not going to work. 9. You're going to be wrong. 8. You're really going to be wrong. 7. You're going to be so embarrassed. 6. Because when five, he's done counting, I still four, will not have said. Wait, three, I actually think two, I might. One. Oh, I'm going to say no, Skylar. You no. were wrong. <laughs> so was I. All right, guys. Thanks for coming. We're out of here. Bye, man. Sorry, out. Go. Bye.